Oh, okay, we're back with part two of our series, and um, if I didn't show you, um, we can zoom in, and you can go to zencart.com to download that zip file that I just showed you that we unzipped. Um, and so now we want to go ahead and install Zencart, and it's basically uh, 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 a real simple process, but there are some things that you have to have to know that you have to do. So let's just go ahead and click here. And you know this is what it's telling you about. This is the first page. Just click, click continue. Agree to accept the licensing uh, agreement, and then click continue. And then we get to the all important page. Now this is the page that is very important. Um, this is where we have to reconfigure our server so that um, and, and install some files so that um, Zencart will install and, and as you can see it will not allow, allow you to install until you do certain things um, we have to make some directories writable and we have to create some files also some of you may not have um, yum installed on your server so you're gonna have to also do that and the way you do that um, I have a CentOS server um, and you do all this via SSH. I have a Cent CentOS server, so um, what you have to do is you have to log in as the root, and that is uh, with a command system user. And then uh, what you do is um, you go ahead and put in the root password. And um, the command that um, we use to install curl on, our, on, on a CentOS server is the yum command. And those of you who have Ubuntu or anything else, you use the app get command. So yum, I'm going to just update because I, um, I already have it installed. So yum update um, and then curl, you know, or yum install. curl and that's all you have to do to install yum on your server uh, I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed so I'm going to exit out of the out of the root and that's all you want to do in, in root um, is, is that so well actually you might have to go back into root so um, in fact let me go ahead and do that um, now remember I'm still in the um, HTTPS docs directory and so what we want to do is we want to um, make these files right here um, writable by giving the command change and modify or chmod change modify 777 so let's go ahead and do that I already have it have those files open in a directories uh, permissions file so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, highlight all of them right here uh, because I'm going to be installing this many times on different clients' uh, uh, website. So just copy and then go back here. Go back to my SSH client. Zoom in. And then right click. And all those commands are ready. So if we zoom out and we go back to the web interface installer and we, we do click recheck and we zoom down as you can see all those directories now are writable now the only thing we need to do is we need to uh, uh, create these two files right here well um, the configured PHP in the in the includes folder and the configured uh, PHP in the admin slash includes uh, directory and if we go to FileZilla and we go to first the admin directory If we uh, navigate to that directory and we go into the includes folder, there is a file here called uh, uh, dist dash uh, configuration PHP. That is the file that you just have to change, and it's the same thing in the includes folder. So, what we can do is the way you do that via SSH is you just do a couple of commands. So, I have the commands already here. Um, and the first command is uh, you do uh, move admin includes this configure in PHP and then you put the uh, di the change the name of the directory afterwards so let's do that highlight it
copy zoom out and it looks like we're going to have to do three videos because it's I'm not going to be able to get all this into two videos so there's going to be a part three to this so we go and um, we right click and I just want to make sure you see everything the command is MV move and then you put in the original directory which is the admin includes this uh, dash configure PHP and then you put the new directory right next to it with a space admin includes uh, slash configure PHP and all you do is hit enter and so if we go back just to show you that worked if we go back and we do a recheck as you can see Uh, that that worked uh, it changed the name of the directory admin includes PHP is unwritable is unwritable uh, so it's in there but it's just not writable uh, so we got to do the admin we got to do the includes uh, slash dot configure uh, PHP so let's go ahead and do that before we uh, make the make both of those files writable so I'm going to highlight this copy and that's writable and we can just make both of them writable by highlighting this I already wrote this in notepad plus plus and if we zoom in I wrote chmod 0777 and then I put both of the files um, in the file paths and all I have to do is hit return zoom out and then come down here and hit recheck and we're ready to install as you can see everything is right everything is right now this one file right here um, is is you don't have to worry about that um, don't worry about that so I just wanted to let you know if you see that 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 mark right there um, but everything is ready to go and as you can see it's ready to install and if we hit install there we go and we're to the next page so we're gonna go, go ahead and the last thing we're gonna do in this video and we'll finish it up in part three is just to go ahead and install the uh, the database so let's go ahead and install the database and as you know I created a database and it's called clients IE clients um, the username for that database is IE underscore clients the database name is IE clients I'm going to go ahead and put in the password and you don't have to change anything else and you just hit save database uh, settings and as you can see it's loading the database and bam there it is everything is correct so we're to this part right now where we're going to stop and we're going to continue on with the third video, uh, part three. And part three is a very critical part. Um, so uh, I'll see you in the next video.